Thor News presents. What is that strange reoccurring shape in the sun? Hey, I've been wanting to ask this question for a while. Like, I know the sun is a lot like clouds. It just takes strange shapes from time to time. Well, I mean, the sun maintains some form of hydrostatic equilibrium at all times. But inside the sun, we get all these zany, crazy, wacky shapes. Like, we've seen triangles before. My favorite, of course, was a couple months ago, I think in February. We had a seahorse in the sun, and everybody loves seahorses because they're like a combination between a mermaid and a horse, you know? Like, if you gotta uh, uh, ride a horse through the sea, then you, you want to use a seahorse. No, that is not true. They cannot be domesticated. Seahorses cannot. And they're very tiny. You would have to have some, like, shrink them down to tiny people size potion to uh, ride a seahorse. And I don't think potions like that really exist. Anyway, let's get to the point. Point is that for a couple months, what I was calling a bat, there was a bat in the sun. You know, like Batman. Bat in the sun. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about it here. I'm talking about bats in the sun, baby. If you, but if you notice, it's got like the flying V in the middle, and then it's got the the, the arms that extend out. Uh, I believe some of these are from January, February, and now the flying V is back. And I'm wondering, what could that be? I know at times when people talk about Nibiru, Nibiru, the Nibiru had horns, kind of like this flying V, right? Um, is it like Comet Ison's reflection off the sun with the flying V, or maybe it's a neutron star, man? Maybe we got. A cool kick-ass friendly neutron star headed our way that's gonna say hello to the sun and our solar system. You think that could be it? Heck no. I'm gonna turn it over to the scientists and the um, amateur astronomers. They know everything there is to know about the sun so they can tell us instant. Oh yeah, it's just a shape from the corona cooling off after far too many sun beers. Ooh, I bet sun beer would be delicious and it would get you really drunk. Or like Mitch Hedberg used to say, if carrot got you drunk, Rabbits would be effed up. <laughs> All right, that's a fine joke. Anyway, so I ain't saying much in this video other than this strange shape has been a reoccurring for a long time. Not that long, a couple months now. And I'm very, very curious. What could the shape be? I mean, I know the sun doesn't make choices. It's all processes and sequences for the sun. So what could be causing this shape to keep reoccurring on the sun? That is what I would like to know. Is something coming our way? I would guess it's comet ice, but I'm biased. To me, when I see a, a dead rabbit in the road, I look and go, Oh, is that Comet Ison? Oh yeah, I'm crazy like that. Okay, shit! Okay, dang. But seahorses, if a seahorse and a bat could mate, I bet their baby would be real creepy and scary. Be like a flying bat seahorse. Nobody wants that, so. Okay, I will sit here on the edge of my seat holding my breath for a modern official scientist to explain to me what the shape is. Okay, God bless everybody. Later.